Ahoy there, mates! Today be international talk like a pirate day, and I shall be spinning you a tale. A tale of Alamaris artists going on the biggest pirate adventure of their lives. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Arr! Ahoy! Land ho! Shiver me timbers! Arr! Wake up, matey! <laughs> no, Mr. Burger King! I'm too vulnerable! <laughs> oh, hey, hey, baby lamb! Arr! Ahoy there, matey! Uh, why are you talking like a leprechaun? Arr! I'll be no leprechaun, matey! Don't you know what today is? Uh, bacon day? I mean, <clears throat> no, it'd be international talk like a pirate day. Oh, so what do you do on that day? You talk like a pirate, you know, like a, ah, shiver me timbers, yo ho ho, har. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, are you going to be talking like that throughout the whole episode? No, actually, it's really hard on my voice. <laughs> okay. But, I wanted to ask if you want to come on a pirate adventure with me. Uh, I don't know, baby lab. I got a pretty full schedule. See, I'm supposed to sleep for the next 6 hours. Then I got a fart scheduled at 2.30pm. Then at 3pm, I have to uh, eat 6,000 pounds of stuffed onions. Then I'm going to be on the toilet for like the next 4 hours after that. And after that, I'm pretty much booked for the rest of the night. So, yeah, I got a pretty busy schedule. Aw, oh, come on, cow. Don't you remember the last time we had a pirate adventure? Hmm. I think the last time we did that was... Abort mission! Abort mission! We're drowning! We're drowning! Cow, we're not even in water. 2016? Don't quote me on that. Come on, cow. Don't you want to ride in the ship and sail the seven seas and look for buried treasure? Treasure? You mean like... Stuffed onions? Well, maybe, maybe not. It's just getting to the treasure that's half the fun. Plus, I can make you my first mate. First mate? Okay, I'm sold. Let's do it! Yippee! So, uh, do you think we should get the others involved? Absolutely! I think it's about time that the pirate posse guys and gals return. <laughs> Let's go tell them. Okay, guys, guess who I'm supposed to be? Uh, a dead guy? A toy? A disappointment? No, no, and ouch. But also no. Well, what are you supposed to be, Ricky? Uh, isn't it obvious? I'm a hot dog! Oh, a hot dog! Nah, dude, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be a dead guy. <laughs> Arr, ahoy there, me hearties! Hello! Cow, we're supposed to be pirates. Oh yeah, sorry. <clears throat> uh, uh, shiver me booty. <laughs> shiver. <laughs> uh, that'll do, Cow. That'll do. Oh, hi, baby lamb. You're just in time. We're just playing a game of charades right now. Yeah, and Ricky's losing. So do you want to play charades with us, baby lamb? Arr, I got something else in mind, matey. Uh, baby lamb? Why are you talking like that? Yeah, are you sick or something? What? I... I be no sick, lassie. Don't you know what today is? Uh, bacon day? That's what I was asking. No! It's International Talk Like a Pirate Day! Oh, talk like a pirate day. You still celebrate that? Arr, of course I still celebrate it, because... <clears throat> Man, it really is hard on my voice. Of course I still celebrate, because it's a lot of fun. I mean, don't you remember? We all used to pretend to, like, you know, be pirates, and we dress up as pirates, and we go on a big pirate adventure? Oh, yes, how could I forget? We took International Talk Like a Pirate Day to the next level by dressing up like pirates and riding a fake pirate ship and everything. Look, what I'm asking is... I want all of us to come back as the pirate posse. You know, I think it would be a lot of fun. We haven't done a pirate adventure in a while. I don't know, baby lamb. We don't seem like pirate material. Plus, pirates are so overrated. 
Why can't we be something cool like Vikings or something? Not to mention, Baby Lamb, pirates don't really exist anymore. Unless you count those who watch movies and cartoons for free online. Besides, Baby Lamb, pirating is just kid stuff now. Yeah, we're all grown up. Well, not literally, but, you know. I see. So none of you want to enjoy being a pirate like me. Okay, I understand. What if I were to tell you that I'd be treasure involved? Treasure? Like what? Another possession that Donnie lost? Hey, these days I keep my possessions in a very special, super secret safe place that only I know about. You mean you keep them in your butt? No, I don't keep them Cow, you are sick. No, I mean real treasure. You know, something very valuable. Wait, wait, you mean like money treasure? Aye, matey. You know, I think this lamb is on to something. Wait a second, baby lamb. How do you know there's a real treasure involved? Aye, that's because I have this. What is that? This, matey, be the map that leads to the treasure of Captain Scrappy the Scumbag. Scrappy the scumbag? Who even is he? I he's Capital City's residential pirate. And according to this here map, Scrappy has buried his treasure in an island somewhere in the outskirts of Capital City. Let me see that. Baby Lum, I really don't think this looks anything like a real treasure map. And even if it is, why would this so-called Scrappy the scumbag like, leave it here all of a sudden. Where'd you even get it? I found it. Yeah, I don't know. Come on! Maybe he left us here so that way whoever finds it can become a true pirate. And that's why I need all of you to be me hearty crew. Hard. Baby Lamb, this seems very illogical and very inane. Now hold on. If Baby Lamb found the map, then that means the treasure hasn't been found yet. And we can take it. And assuming the treasure has gold and diamonds and all that shit, that means we can keep it. Just imagine what we can get if we had that treasure. What? I don't make stuffed onions my whole personality. Come on, Donnie. Aren't you as well curious about where the treasure is and what you plan to do with it? Well... Well, even though I believe in logic, somehow you've convinced me, Baby Lamb. I really want that big telescope. Arr, that's what I like to hear. And so if we all bend together as mateys, we shall find that treasure. And I'll make sure that all of us get to share it. So, are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, aye Captain! I can't hear you. I'm just kidding. I, I can hear you. All right, let's do this. But first, if ye be pirates, ye need to dress like one. To the galley! Hey, Donnie, how come we always turn to paper whenever we wear different clothes? Well, you see, the reason is... Arr! Now, sorry be a scurvy crew looking mighty ship shape. Excellent work, me hearties. Okay, Balaam, seriously, why the hell am I dressed as Popeye? Well, that's because Popeye's a pirate. Isn't he? Uh, no. Popeye's a sailor. There's a difference. I mean, do you ever hear Popeye going, Oh, I'm Popeye the pirate man. <laughs> I'm Popeye the pirate man. <laughs> Wait a second, I thought Popeye had a pipe. Yeah, well, not for this guy. Smoking of all kind is the playground for throat and lung cancer, and I refuse to go under Jungle Gym. <laughs> okay, no argument there. All right, then, uh, uh, Cassandra, um, uh, what are you supposed to be? What does it look like, Baby Lamb? I'm a pirate. Well, yes, but that's not, uh, uh, uh never mind. With me, fellow Buccaneers, and I, together we be the Pirate Posse Guys. Uh, plus three gals. Uh, Baby Lamb just said, wouldn't it just be easier to call us the Pirate Posse Pals? Oh, yeah, that, 
You know, you know, in retrospect, that does sound much better. <laughs> I guess I didn't really think about that. <laughs> Wait, why can't we just be called the Pirate Posse? Because then our initials would be PP. <laughs> I don't get it. Arr, and together, we shall find that treasure. Aye, and we shall pillage and plunder everywhere we go. Oh, I wouldn't count on that, lassie. Who said that? Oh, my God. Avast, ye scurvy swabs, for that treasure shall belong to me. Uh, Roger? I be that Roger today, ye mutinous land lover. Today, I be Captain Rex Beard, the fiercest pirate in all of Capital City. And I shall be finding Scrappy's buried treasure before all of you do, and I'll have it all to myself. <laughs> He's laughing like the crab from SpongeBob. Thank you for pointing out the obvious, cow. Rex Beard? Uh, no offense, Roger, but you don't even have a beard. Doesn't look like I have the budget for one. Why do you think I'd be hunting for that treasure? Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that treasure could get you a lot more than just a beard. Shiver me timbers, you're right. I can get a lifetime supply of beards. <laughs> what makes you think you can find the treasure? Oh, it's simple. As a pirate, I'm naturally greedy, and I have an instinct for finding treasure. Ha! Good luck! You don't even have the map! You were saying? Uh... Did you really have to pull out the map and wave it at his face? Hey, give that back! No can do, you bilge-sucking baby. Tis the cool as a pirate, and that means what's mine is mine. Uh, technically that's not true. The pirate code is that goods taken from another ship during a raid are to be fairly distributed among the crew. Well, whatever. The point is, with this map, finding that treasure shall be easy. Well, not if we get to the island and find that treasure first. Ha! And what makes you think you can? You don't even have a pirate ship. So? Neither do you. Oh, I beg to differ, laddie. Whoa, didn't see that coming. Well, blow me down. Really? What? I'm wearing the costume. I might as well say it. Wait a second. How can your ship be on land? Me ship be a hybrid. It runs on land and sea. And so, I shall see ye barnacles later. I have to go and collect me bounty. Ugh, man, this pirate talk is really hard on my voice. Anyways, see you losers later! <laughs> well, isn't this just great? That stupid alligator, crocodile, whatever he is, ran off with our treasure map! Wait a second! Didn't we have a pirate ship before? Baby Lamb, last time we did this, our pirate ship was nothing more than a trolley being pulled by Thomas the Tank Engine. Huh? That's not a pirate ship, that's a trolley! That's what you think, but look! Okay, I guess that flag kind of makes sense. Huh. Man, that sounded good on paper. Aw oh, man, now we're never gonna get to that treasure. Baby Lamb, you seem to forget that we're not in the golden age of piracy anymore. Uh, what do you mean by that, Ricky? Dude, this is in the 1700s. Nobody uses a physical map anymore. Yeah, if we want to get to that treasure, we could just use a GPS to get to the island. Huh! Yeah, we can do that! The question is, how are we going to get there? We don't have a pirate ship. Just leave that to me. You bought a pirate ship? Yep. Sure did. Where'd you even get it? Easy. I found it on Craigslist. Oh, what are the odds? On our show? Pretty good. Do you think we should give the ship a name? Ooh, I know, I know. Let's call it the SS, uh, 
S O. Let me guess. That stands for the S S stuffed onions. Uh, no. It stands for sometimes she smells so odorous. I say we call this ship the Grand Line. The Grand Line? Where'd you get that from, Alice? I've been watching a lot of One Piece lately. What's that? Baby Lamb. Once we get this pirate shit over with, I'm about to introduce you to culture. Well, in that case, the Grand Line it is. So, let's set sail, mateys. Ha ha! And so our brave buccaneer set sail on the Grand Line for a swashbuckling adventure to find the buried treasure of the legendary Captain Scrappy the Scumbag before Captain Rexbeer beats them to it. Ah, isn't this wonderful? The seven of us sailing the seven seas. The cool ocean breeze, the sweet scent of adventure. The open sea wind in my, uh, wool. It's great to be a pirate. No, it isn't. The air stinks, seagulls are shitting on me, and there's barely any reception, so the GPS doesn't even work. Well, we may not have a working GPS, but I'm certain we're going the right direction. Hey, who said you can drive the ship? Uh, well, I am the captain after all. Do you even know how to drive? Of course I do! Not. But it shouldn't be that hard. Steering a ship shouldn't be so difficult. It's just like driving a car. Which I also don't know how to do. I think you should let me drive, Baby Lamb. Good idea. So, Baby Lamb, I know you're the captain and Ricky is sailing the boat, but what exactly is the rest of us supposed to do? I am glad you asked, matey. Belly's up on the crow's nest as the navigator. How far are we to our destination, Bell? Arr, hard to say, Captain. There be nothing but water as far as the eye can see. <coughs> what was that? Uh, ignore that. And Alice be the master at arms, so she gets to shoot the cannons. Fire in the hole! And Cassandra is the powder monkey. Uh, powder monkey? I that just means she's in charge of bringing the gunpowder so Alice can shoot the cannons. Wait, since when do we have gunpowder? Yo, Cassie, I need more ammo for the cannon. Here you go, Alice. Ah, excellent, mighty. Fire in the hole! And Cowan in charge of swapping the poop deck. You did tell him what poop deck means, right? Uh-oh. What's that smell? Oh, that's probably the poop deck. It might need a once-over. Cal, please tell me you didn't. Oh, you bet your sweet bippy I did. It's strange, though, how a poop deck doesn't have a toilet. Or even a sink. Heck, I couldn't find any toilet paper. You're this close to walking the plank, you landlubber. Got it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. And what about me, Captain? What do I do? Well, considering that you're the brains of the outfit. Hmm, let's see. Bye. He shall be in charge of counting the booty once we find the treasure. That's it? Yeah, pirates aren't exactly well educated, me bucko. Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Yep, nothing but smooth sailing from here on out. That treasure shall be as good as ours. Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> That's weird. Why did we stop? Baby Lamb, I think we're being blocked by a toll booth. In the middle of the ocean? How is that even possible? I don't know, but no booth is going to stop us. <clears throat> Excuse me, madam, but we would like to escort ourselves away from this booth so we can venture on to find Captain Scrappy's buried treasure. So if you'd be so kind as to, uh, let us cross... We'd greatly appreciate it. Do you have an easy pass on your ship? What did you say to me? I'll take that as a no. That'll be five dollars, exact change. Five dollars? This be mutiny! Rules are rules, bub. Pay up or get out. I want to speak to your manager right this second! Okay, sir. One second. 
I'm the manager, sir. Five dollars, or try your little trick-or-treat routine somewhere else. Oh, fine. You people are the real pirates. Well, that was weird. We shall never speak of this. Guys, I think we reached the island! Really? Shiver me timbers, the lassie is right. Learn hole! I always wanted to say that. Pirate Posse Pals, we've made it! <laughs> Belle, come on, I need a pirate laugh! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're good. So, where should we find the treasure? I think we have to look for a Q that marks the spot. Uh, don't you mean X? Hey, ladies! Star be the X! Hi, excellent work, Cassandra! Let's dig up that treasure! Hold on! If anyone's gonna be doing any digging here, it's gonna be me. I am a dog, after all. Then dig it up, you scurvy dog! <laughs> With pleasure. I found something! That might be the treasure chest! Pull it up! Ugh. Here we go. Wow! I can't believe it! I'm hungry. We found it! We found Scrappy the Scumbag's treasure! Yahar! And now it's me, treasure! Yahar! Roger! How did you get here? I told you, me name's Captain Rexbeard. And I came here with the map. Duh. Plus, I've been parked in this island the whole time. How on earth did we not notice that? You see, I was just waiting for you blokes to get here and find the treasure, so I don't have to go through the trouble of digging it up myself. Well, give us back that chest! We found it first! Aye, tis the code of the pirates. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. And now, with Scrappy's treasure, I shall be the richest crocagator in all of Capital City! Yahahaha! <laughs> I know this is a serious situation, but the way he laughs is still funny. Good luck finding the treasure, you salty swabs! Gar! <laughs> ah, oh, tartar sauce. That son of a biscuit eater stole that treasure from right under our noses. What are we gonna do? Baby lamb? We're pirates, right? I guess. So, as pirates, there's only one thing to do when a blasted barnacle like Roger steals our treasure. What's that? Arr! Let's steal that treasure back from that scurvy scallywag! We can't do that! Two wrongs don't make a right. Uh, actually... Huh. I'll be darned. Okay, let's steal. Yar! I can't wait to see what I can buy with this treasure! Hold up there, Bob! You need to pay to cross this bridge! What? I never had to do that when I entered this island! Sorry, pal. It's the new state law. <sighs> Alright. How much is this gonna cost me? About one treasure chest! Fine, but only because I'm desperate to return to town with me new treasure! Pleasure doing business with you! Yeah, not a problem. Hey, wait a minute! Now, Alice! Fire in the hole! Uh -oh. Ah! Yeah! Oh. Here you go, Captain Lamb. Oh, thank you, Belle. I mean, <clears throat> I much obliged, matey. Not so fast, Captain Lamo. That treasure be mine. I we shall see about that, ya build rat. Yeah, you can see. Huh? Who said that? <gasps> Are you? Hey, matey, tis I, 
Scrappy the scumbag. And this here I'll be sure to be me pirate, Scrocky. Ah, I'm being here against my will. I'm being here against my will. Ah. Hey, shut up, Scrocky. Oh my god. Captain Scrappy himself. What are you doing with me chest? Well, if you must know, Captain, I found your map and sailed off to this island to find some buried treasure. But then this lousy lamb lubber and his bumbling buccaneer bozos tried to steal it from me. That's, no, that's not true. I found your map that led to your treasure, and my friends and I wanted to look for it. Everything was going fine until the map to your treasure was stolen by Beardless here. They caused an explosion. Maybe this be true? Yes, it's true. This man has no beard. Why, you little... Fight, 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 fight! Ah! All right, all right! You so obviously need to button down your hatches! This should not be what you think it be! Arr, I'll be the judge of that, Patchy! Arr, ha, 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 ha. I can smell the gold and the diamonds already! <coughs> what the? This booty stinks. <laughs> Just like cows. Hey! Oh, no, well, you're not wrong there. Wait a second. This isn't treasure at all. It's not even metaphorical treasure either. It's dirty clothes. Hey! That be me dirty laundry! Ah, it's really stinky, really stinky. Ah. I don't get it. Hey, perhaps I owe you an explanation. You see, I live in this here island and I only do me laundry once a year. So I put me dirty clothes in this here chest and say hello to the capital city laundromat. Oh, so that's what the map was for. Hey. I must have left it behind when I was returning home. And I'm assuming you buried your laundry here in this X so you remember where it is? No, I marked this spot with an X because that's where I was when my ex left me. <laughs> Why did she leave me? <laughs> ah, how pathetic. Ah. But yeah, that'd be the story. A thousand apologies for making you think there was actually treasure. Are you meaning to tell me that this whole time there be no treasure? <sighs> you know what? Screw this. <laughs> you know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. Ah, uh, you know what? That's okay, Scrappy. We actually had a lot of fun looking for your chest. It was awesome being pirates again. Yeah, I gotta admit, this was pretty epic. Plus, I look hot in this outfit. Huh? Huh? Now I really look like a hot dog. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Just... No. Yeah, this was quite the experience, to say the least. Hey, I'm glad you all had fun. So I shall make each and every one of you honorary pirates! Yeah! <laughs> ah, welcome to the crew! Welcome to the crew! Welcome to the crew! Ah! Wow! Honorary pirates? Thank you, Captain! This is an honor! Now we can illegally watch movies for free! Well, I guess we better be on our way. Yeah, I think it's time we sail back to town. I'm all pirated out. Alright, you're welcome to come back and visit any time. Oh, before you all leave, I got a special assignment for ye. <gasps> a special assignment? Can you take me dirty laundry with you if you're heading to the city? <laughs> ah, you're really a scumbag! You're really a scumbag! Ah. Uh, see you, Captain! Yeah, later, Scrappy. See you soon, matey. <laughs> I ain't touching no dirty laundry. Hell no. Fair on me, Hurtis! Me ain't gonna be ever tight! <laughs> Let us set sail! And so that be the tale of how Baby Lamb and the gang got the pirate spirit. The true treasure they hold is the thrill of adventure. And as for old Scrappy, 
I think we'll be seeing him again real soon. <laughs>